against the cryo pieces, Jack. Spread them. Just stay right where you are, or I killed a little lady. Stop, you son of a bitch! You know fucking why you can't do a goddamn thing when I got her in front of me. So get lost, asshole! Oh, no. 
Ne! society of a rotten element. Are you aware of the goddamn mess that you've caused? Not in the least, just as I fucking imagine. Son of a bitch tried to kill me. What was I supposed to do? You could have hit the girl. But that didn't, so why are you so damn mad? That's not the fucking point, Malone. Okay. All right, boss, I changed my ways. You happy now? Like hell you will. Your goddamn service record's filled with your I'll change my ways. Ain't nobody gonna fall for that shit anymore. So what the hell that's supposed to mean? I lose my vacation time? This means you leave the goddamn country alone. Now shut that damn mouth of yours and listen. Our government and Interpol has organized an exchange program with different countries. Perfect occasion for you to take a nice little vacation and maybe learn something. So you take this nice little trip and give me a break. That's fine with me. I choose Paris. You don't choose shit. You go where the hell I send you. And where is that, may I ask? Manila. Manila. Philippines? Yeah. That's where Manila is. Bullshit. I'm not going to no Philippines. Come on, Merton. It's too goddamn hot in the Philippines. Besides, I love Chicago. No way, no how, am I going to the goddamn Philippines? Welcome to the Philippines. The passengers arriving on Pan American flight number 746 will be exiting through gate 6. Please proceed to baggage claim area number three and have your baggage claim tickets ready for inspection. Thank you. Ang mga pasahero pong dumarating sakay sa Pan American flight numero 746 ay lalabas sa gate 6. Pakiusap lang po na magtuloy sa baggage claim area numero 3 at ihanda lang po ang inyong baggage claim tickets para sa inspeksyon. Salamat po. You're American, aren't you? Yeah, Chicago. Well, I live here and have been these 19 years. It's a beautiful country and the people are wonderful. But there are some bad elements I'd advise you to stay away from. They might present you with, shall we say, unhappy pictures. It's OK, pal. I'm used to unhappy pictures. Well, that's fine. In that case, I'm sure you won't have any trouble whatsoever. My person welcomes you, sir. Have a pleasant stay. Hey, lady, how about if I take hey, you to the back? What are you doing? Stop that! Stop that! Get away from me! <laughs> this isn't funny. <laughs> My jeep. That man in white, he stole my bag. Get after him, but don't let the police see you. Go move.
of Chicago, am I right? Yeah. I'm Inspector Kevin McCall from Interpol. And you've been assigned to me. Always as hot as vanilla? Uh, no. No, it's not. It's usually a lot hotter. Where's my luggage? Oh, it'll be back in the hotel by now. My gun? That's in my office, which is where it's gonna stay. And what hotel am I in? You're in the Manila Gardens Hotel, okay? Get in. Manila Gardens. What else? It's not like back home. Our agents do not use firearms unless it's absolutely necessary. That's fine, as long as nobody is shooting at me. I'm alone. I'm trying hey, to tell come you. Come on, all right? No speeches. If I want to know something, I'll ask. That way, we might wind up being friends. Oh, yeah, that's a real good prospect. Anyway, a prospect. Good afternoon, Inspector. Good afternoon, Frank. This is our new guest, Mr. Malone. Take good care of him. You could be sure. Please, follow me, Mr. Malone. Look, go. I'd like my gun back tomorrow. Yeah, well, we'll discuss that in the morning, Malone. I don't want any of your fireworks in this town. My wallet? That we will try to get back to you. I'll expect you in my office first thing. I'll send a car for you, 9 o'clock. Fine. Oh, Malone, welcome to the Philippines. Yeah. Saved you a lot of time. You know this clown? 
Yeah, sure, I know him. Everybody knows him. He's one of the most pathetic characters in Manila. He's a small-time pickpocket con artist. <laughs> he used to pass himself off as a retired English army colonel. Used to? Well, yeah, years ago. I mean, nobody's fool enough to fall for that anymore, but the nickname remains. Where can I find him? Why don't we try where he lives? Open up, Carl. It's the police. One shot through the temple. Instant death. Possibly 38. Dead, uh, I'm on a couple hours. Yeah, could have been a mistake, too. He's too small time for this. Maybe he lifted one wallet too many. No, there's got to be more to it than that. there somewhere and yeah, the question is where I know where you can find her where what's in it for me society's gratitude ma'am you know what I can do with that all right all right will this do you ain't very generous are you I don't want to give it back no uh, she works at the uh, Tropicana Club okay where's the phone uh, downstairs. It's payphone. Good. Go. Go. Alice. Alice. Look, you call the Tropicana. Get this girl's address. I'll come down and join you in a minute. Right.
Can I help you? Yes, are you Miss Peggy Mallory? Certainly am. I'm Detective McCall. This is Lieutenant Malone. Can we come in, please? Sure. Sit down. All right. What has my father been up to this time? Well, we're not actually here because of anything he's been up to. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but your father's dead. I always knew that one day someone would come through that door and tell me something like that. And now that it's happened, it seems incredible. How did he die? Someone shot him. What? My father never hurt anyone. Everything went wrong for him. He wanted to give me the moon. He used to say that someday a good deal would come his way. And I'd be the richest and most envied girl in Manila. He used to repeat it every night in place of the fairy tales my mother never lived long enough to tell me. I found work and I managed to support myself. But he never gave up his dreams. Till now. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, three weeks. Maybe a month. I couldn't stand his stories anymore. And now, I don't know what I'd give to be able to hear them again. Well, if you came hoping I could help you with your investigation, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Doesn't matter. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Mallory, and uh, condolences. What do you think? I don't know. But I knew that one thing. You don't kill somebody unless you've got a good reason. And Eddie Mallory was just a nickel and dimer. Unless... Uh... Unless he fell into something he didn't know about. Yeah. Could be. Who knows? Well, come on. Let's go. Where are we going now? I can't put it off any longer. You're coming to dinner at my house. Meet the rest of the McColls. Bye. They're not all like you. You're a riot, Malone. We'll see. I've got two more laps to go. All right. Catch you now. much later than usual this evening. Don't forget, you've got school at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm. Time for bed, young man. Come on. Let's go. <clears throat> night, Bobby. Good night, Mr. Malone. Kids in that neighborhood one damn game. <laughs> 
You know, it's been a long time since I did something like that. Yeah, well, games are great. I mean, Bobby and I play whenever we get the chance. A compliment to your son. He's a fine kid. Oh, Kevin would give his right arm for you. I count much less. Oh, come on, Mary, what do you say? The truth. Hey, hey, I gotta go. It's been a fine evening. Oh, well, hey, I'll bring you back. No, 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 don't bother. I need to exercise. I'll see myself out. Bye. Get yourself, Malone. All right. See you in the morning. Bye-bye. He seems nice. Yeah, he's all right. Good evening, Mr. Malone. Can you tell me where the uh, Tropicana Club is? Uh, well, not too far away. Three blocks to the right. Thank you, pal. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm looking for a uh, Miss Mallory. I understand she works here. There she is now. Good evening, Mr. Malone. It's Mallory. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. I'm glad that you came. So am I. That was a very fine tune. Thanks. I've um, been meaning to call you. Just after you left, I received a letter sent by my father. A letter? It had a baggage receipt in it. Have you checked it out yet? Oh. Uh, yes, I did, but... Uh, could we talk about this somewhere else? My car's right outside. Fine with me. It'll just take me a minute to change. Okay. Oh, 
make weak drinks, ma'am. That's what it was. A bag with $10,000 in it. May I? Of course. I can't tell you what a strange feeling it was, getting a letter from him after his death like that. Well, it appears that your father loved you quite a bit. I just don't understand where he could have gotten so much money. He wasn't into robbing banks. We'll find out. In the meantime, I think you should give that money to Lieutenant McColl to keep for you. It's a little dangerous for you to have. Whatever you think best. I trust you. Oh, yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Do you like a lift back to the hotel? Yeah, that, that's fine. Bob, may I ask you something? Sure, why not? What brings you to Manila? Uh, on the pretext, learning the methods used by Interpol. And the real reason? <laughs> well, they think I'm too violent. Well, I think you're just the opposite. Well, appearances can be deceiving. <laughs> Should I be worried? If I were you, I would be. Black Dotson tried to kill us. I have a report on my desk in the morning. Go! When the hell did you get here so fast? We've been following you all night, Malone. Your doorman at the hotel is an ex-cop. Hey. Next time, make it quicker. I'm oh, sorry. What should I have done? Call the cop. It's none of your goddamn business, Malone. You're a guest here. You've got no right to start your own investigation. Investigation? All I did was go to a goddamn nightclub. How did I know all hell was going to break loose? Well, from past experience, I would have thought, according to your records, you always managed to screw things up. Get off my back, McCall. I may be a guest in this country, but I'm still a you are. So am I. So let's start thinking like cops. Now, the fact remains that somebody tried to kill you or the girl, and it's our job to find out why. Come in. Dodson's owned by the Basford Oil Company. They have a branch here at the port and a couple of oil tankers. The manager's name is Asad Kaburi. Okay. Let's go pay Asad Kaburi. Are you coming, Malone? Yes or no? Are 
You sure it's wise for me to come along? I mean, the goddamn fort might blow up or something. The mechanic here had reported that the Datsun had been stolen two days ago. We waited to report it to the police, hoping it would turn up. You see, this sort of thing has happened before, and it always ends up with a fine to one of our workers who had borrowed the car. Unfortunately, this time, our investigation confirms our suspicion of a real theft. Inspector, may I ask why you're so interested in this case? You didn't actually find the car. Oh, no, this is just a routine investigation, but you see, the man in that car tried to kill a police officer. He used a machine gun. Oh, terrible. Mustafa, go. If there is anything I can do for you, please consider me at your disposal. I'll show you the door. Me. I think he's full of bullshit. Well, he's lying, for sure. But all we've got is supposition. I mean, that's not enough to accuse him of attempted murder. People shooting at me is a lot more than supposition. I tell you, that girl's life is in danger. And let me guess, you'd like to be assigned the case, right? Give you a chance to shoot off some fireworks? The fireworks have already started, partner. I'm just a little concerned about it, that's all. Me too. That's why I've got men assigned to guard her house 24 hours a day. Jesus, Malone, you don't have a very high opinion of our agents, do you? Just here. Yes, of course I did. I don't think they fell for it. I don't know how much the girl knows. But she has the bag and she's in contact with the American. We can't take any risks. All right. Goodbye. I never grow tired of shows like this. Do you like it? You're fine. You've been silent all evening. Am I that much of a bore? Uh, no, no. On the contrary. Then what's wrong? I'm a little concerned about you, Peggy. What do you mean? I've been trying to put the pieces together. You know, those men were not out to kill me. They were after you. Why me? For something they think you know or have. <sighs> like what? Are you sure you've told me everything? Was that baggage receipt the only thing your father sent to you in that envelope? Of course. What else should there have been? Bob, you have to believe me. I don't know what's happening. And I'm afraid. More so now than ever. I thought I could count on your help. But when you look at me that way, I know I'm alone. You're right. I'm sorry. I was only uh, hoping you told me everything. I tell you what, let's forget everything I said. Let's start over, okay? 
And the best way to do that is with a nice, cold bottle of champagne. Come on. Don't worry, they have an ambulance on call. You're a pretty good bamboo dancer. <laughs> so are you. It was a marvelous evening. Thanks for cheering me up. My pleasure. Would you like to come in for a nightcap? Why not? Alert, pal.
Take her away. Get her to tell you where the bag is. You know how to make her talk. Promised, asshole. Promised. I know. It was an accident. They do happen. Is killed, the girl is kidnapped, and all you can say is that it was an accident. Look back off, will you? I mean, shooting your mouth off about this is not going to make her come back. It's not going to make anything any easier. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You're right. So getting my hands around Kaburi's throat sure make me feel a hell of a lot better. Peggy told me about the bag she received from her father with ten grand in it. Maybe he stole it from Kaburi. Maybe Kaburi kidnapped her. Anyway, he damn sure knows where she is. That may be, but using violence is not going to get it out of him. I mean, the best we can do is file a complaint with the Iranian embassy if we had the proof, which we don't. So what are we supposed to do? Stand here, wait for a miracle? No. No, we can move it along. I'm on my way to visit Kaburi right now. Not without me, you're not. Only on my terms, my lord. I want your word that we'll play this my way. Fine. Now. Maria, take all my calls. I'll be back soon. Yes, sir. all over this place. No. No. no more. Please. I no. 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 Stop it. Right there. No. No. Right there. You saw what happened. He's crazy. He almost killed me. 
Shut the fuck up. You slipped on some oil and banged your face. That's what happened to you. All right, Malone, outside. Now. You won't get away with this. You are not police. You are good. What the hell you let him go for? He would have talked. Look, you were way out of line in there, Malone. I told you, we don't use those kind of tactics here. Now get in the car. Oh, I'm not here to be ordered around by you. Would you please get in the car? Hello, who is it? It's Mustafa from the garage. What the hell do you want? I told you never call me at home. They were just here. That pig of an American broke a couple of my ribs. He wanted to know about the girl. And what did you tell him? Nothing, boss. You know, he can trust me. There's nothing to fear. The groping in the dark. The plants on the microfilm are safe. Maybe. To be safe, call Kemal at the warehouse. Anticipate departure a couple of hours. Got it? Yes, sir. A couple of hours. Well, you were playing tough guy. I bugged the phone. It's a lot less dramatic, but a little more effective. So what the hell did you find out? Proof that Kabori was involved in kidnapping Peggy Mallory. Which doesn't bring us any closer to knowing where the girl is. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe. To be safe, call Kemal at the warehouse. Anticipate departure a couple of hours. Got it? Archer, do you think Kabori's talking about? How in the hell am I supposed to know? A car, plane, ship? Yeah, a ship. A ship, yeah, that's it. Basra Oil Company has got two oil tankers in the dock right now. Now, if one of them is leaving today, that would be it. Yeah, get me the harbor master, absolute priority. Harbor master. Captain, this is Inspector McColl here from Interpol. Uh, can you tell me, do you have any Basra Oil Company ships leaving today? Hold on, I'll check it out. Yes, here it is. The Mr. El Quang. It's scheduled to leave in two hours. Thank you very much. We'll meet you at the wharf. Hold that ship. Don't let it go anywhere. Let's go. Okay, it's just a scratch. How are you? That's the baby. 
came alone. Thanks. You saved my life. I didn't want your wife to get mad at me. Let's go find that ship. Hey, McCall, you think I can have my... You bet. Well, all we can do now is wait for the Coast Guard. Let me go! Where are you taking me? my way.
to pay for your life, like the girl did. Please, please. <laughs> City. Here's the bag. Well, 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 what do you know? Just big enough for some microfilm. Oh, man, why don't you go on home and get some rest? The doctor said that guy's not going to be able to talk before morning anyway. He's the only witness we've got. I waited out here. By the way, we closed up the Basra Oil Company offices. Kaburi, what about him? He's vanished. He's just disappeared. Where are you going? Can't take it anymore. I'm going to the hospital. Hold on. I'm coming too. Sorry, Doctor. No one is allowed to go in without authorization. Ah, oh, of course. How stupid of me.
few minutes before nine. Oh, man. My, my, my. How time flies. I for Kaburi. Stalling for something. Yeah, well, he's got to have some reason for killing so many people. That's for sure. All we have to do is find a way to get it out of him. Oh, God, Mary. What's Mary got to do with this? I forgot to call her last night. Doesn't she call you here? No, she knows not to bother me at work. Hello, darling. Look, I'm sorry. I've been here all night long. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Oh, good. How's my boy? I just took him to school. He said to give you a special hug. Great. I'll be home as soon as I can. Bye-bye. Honey. Yes? Don't tire yourself too much. Don't worry about me. Bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Oh, women. They're all alike. You think so, huh? Not the circles I traveled. Chief? Yeah, what is it? The prisoner wants to see you. Says nine o'clock. What's yours? You think you're funny? You think this is a fucking joke? No, it's serious. Dead serious, Inspector. Turn on the television. Look at the news. The message from the Pan Islamic Liberation Front asks the immediate release of Ahmed Comey the charismatic leader of al Sai, arrested some weeks ago at the Manila airport. At the same time, a command of guerrillas has taken over the Compton Institute, barricading themselves in on the fifth floor. Along with the release of Ahmed Comey, the PLF has asked for the release of 12 other political prisoners and a fully fueled plane standing by. Son, son, you've got my son, you shit! You fucking hey, hey, got my son! You got my son! Come down, come down. Calm down, Nicole. Calm down. Let's play it out. Let's play it out. So that any attempt to penetrate the building by force will result in complete disaster. Any orders, sir? Yeah. Surround the school. Coordinate the operation with the chief of police and the armed forces. This is a wait and see situation. I want no shooting without my permission. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Very clear. is so fucking important about that microfilm that it's worth all these people's lives. The least of our future actions. There are going to be any future actions for you, pal. Your history. And so your scumbag friends who use little kids as their shields. Get this asshole out of my sight. I advise you to come to terms with my companions. They are men capable of anything, and they won't hesitate to blow up the place, along with your son. <coughs> Stay where you are! Move back! He's mine. Don't move! <coughs> Hold it, Kamori, right there!
miss. Hello, Mary. What the hell are they waiting for? Why don't they bring the prisoners? There are 350 kids in here. Do they realize that or not? Take it easy, McCall. The government has already agreed to the exchange. It's only a matter of minutes now. Yeah, well, then why aren't they here? Yeah, relax. That's them. Call Brennan. I need to talk to him right away. I'm right here, Charlie. What is it? Where the hell is I met Kumi? What I'll about Kumi? Later. Come here, Brennan. I got news for you. A misfortune, a tremendous misfortune. Ahmed Kumi committed suicide in his cell 15 minutes ago. We were holding him under pressure for him to withdraw his men. And then he killed himself. That puts us in a hell of a position. Now what? I really don't know. I don't know. We have to play for time. Above all, don't let this news leak out, or else we lose all our hopes. What are we supposed to do now, huh? What are we supposed to tell them? Listen, McCall, words don't mean spit. We gotta go into action, get someone to bring the building, the engineer, and the floor plan of this place. And do what? We need some clothes and some equipment. Go. Yes, sir. Okay, what have you got in mind? Surprise is the only weapon we've got. We've got to get inside the building. Well, yeah, but how are we gonna get up there? Elevator shaft. You stop at the fifth floor. I'll come in from the roof. No, that won't work, see, because the windows are mined. The frames are, not the glass. Yeah, but how are you going to get to the window? That's my business. Once inside the building, you take care of the hallway. I'll handle the rest. We've got to move into action before they hear about Kumi's death. The decision of the government to come to terms with the terrorists has met with unanimous consent of the entire country. Since this morning, the eyes of the world are fixed on this building, where the lives of so many innocent children are at stake. Hi, Mary, it's me. Oh, Kevin, thank God it's you. I can't handle this anymore. I feel I'm close to a nervous breakdown. I just don't have your strength. Now, you listen to me, Mary. And you listen really well. I want you to do exactly the same as I am doing, and you resist these bastards. We are not gonna give in to them. You understand? Now, make a fist and pray. I love you so much. I love you, too. And baby, I'm gonna get our little boy. I swear to God, I am. At this moment, 75 countries in contact via satellite are watching with anxious hearts. Ready?
I'll go ahead. We'll alternate to the fifth floor. I'll continue to the roof. Ready? You bet. Let's do it. Where could they be? I haven't the slightest idea. But as long as it's quiet, it's a good sign.
you're proceeding on. We've been waiting too long. We'll never get out of here alive. Just keep cool, Hassan. Everything's going to be fine. Send up the bomb squad. This operation is over. Pan American announces the departure of its flight number 46 to Los Angeles and Chicago. All passengers holding boarding passes. Yeah, I'm serious. I wrecked a few cars, demolished a couple of buildings, shot six terrorists. I'm coming on to you, Chief. Cool. It's nice of you to see me up. No problem. We'll miss you, Bob. Seriously, we hate to see you leave. I'd like to stay longer, but my vacation is over. You are coming back now, aren't you? Could happen. You owe me a car race. <laughs> no way, pal. You're too good for me. Thanks, nice man. You too. working with you too, Coco. Fix your goddamn time, will you? I 